Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use the Azure Virtual Machine Cloner or AVMC by Smicker Software to easily clone a VM running in Azure. Now not only can AVMC be used to clone VMs, but it can also be used as a way to migrate VMs from various storage accounts or locations or from the older ASM Classic platform to the new Resource Manager ARM platform within Azure. Another reason you could use AVMC is to create a backup clone of a VM you're about to work on, almost like a snapshot or a fallback. OK, let's get started. To begin, just click on the Clone Virtual Machine icon and a new window will open up listing all your VMs. From here you can see the VM name, its status and size, the service or resource group it's in, and the type of VM that it is, whether it's an ASM or an ARM, and of course the subscription and the location it's in. OK, so let's choose a VM we want to clone. Uh, I'll choose Prod VM 15 and click Next. So this machine has two additional disks attached. AVMC will prompt and ask you whether you want to clone and reattach those disks as well. So I'll say yes. I want to copy those VMs onto the target clone as well. So it'll go off and read the, uh, the disk information on the original. And once it's finished, it'll move on. OK, so let's set a target subscription. So you can select any subscription you have access to. So I'll just select this one and uh, select a target resource group for the clone VM and a target location. So I'll just select these and next. OK, so next is to select the target storage account. Now, I only have one storage account in this subscription and in that location. So I'll select it and click Next. Now you need to select a target virtual network. I have two in this subscription and location. So you can see the names, uh, the resource group they're in, and of course the address space of each VNet. So I'll just choose this one and click Next. So we'll go off and read the uh, virtual network information and just make sure everything is OK. OK, so now we need to specify a name for the target machine. Uh, you can name it anything you like, of course, but I'll just call it New VM Test. Here is where you specify the target VM size, and you can see a list of all the VMs that are available in that location. So I'll select this one. Uh, additionally, you can specify whether you want to shut down the original VM, shut down the cloned VM, or send an email once the job finishes. So I'll leave the original VM running and I'll shut down the clone VM when it finishes and send myself an email. Okay, when you're ready, just click Start Clone and a message will appear just to let you know that um, once you clone the VM, you could potentially have two servers running both with the same computer names and SIDs in your environment. So if you, if you intend on keeping both the original and the clone, uh, we advise that uh, you log into the clone VM, rename the computer, uh, run new SID or sysprep, whatever you feel is necessary, uh, potentially rejoin the domain if that's required. Uh, you may also need to re, uh, reconfigure the IP address and endpoints. So it's just to let you know that these, uh, these tasks may need to be executed once the clone is finished. So just click on the Understood and Accepted button and click Start. So from there, the console output window will appear and you can see the process to clone uh, prod VM has started and this console will keep you up to date and uh, show you exactly what is happening along the way. Now, the, this process could take anywhere between five minutes and many, many hours depending on your, um, your source and destination. So if you're cloning a VM in the same subscription, in the same storage account, the process will probably take somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes. But if you're moving from a location uh, completely different to the clone target, so if your storage account is in um, Europe and your target storage account is in, uh, let's say, West US, that could take many, many hours, especially uh, depending on the amount of disks 
So if it's just a VM with no disks, it might take an hour. But if the VM has 12 disks or even more, it could take many, many hours. Okay, so I'll just let this run and uh, I'll pause the video and I'll come back when it's finished. Okay guys, uh, we're back and as you can see the process has completed. Uh, you can scroll through the, uh, the console and you can see all the, the tasks and jobs that were executed. Uh, you can see the VM was created. It's attaching two disks, uh, attached one and second, so it's, it successfully attached two disks to the VM. Uh, it shut it down and it completed the process in seven minutes. So, not very long, but as I said, it uh, depends on your source and your target will determine how long the whole process takes. Okay, so that's pretty much it. As you can see, pretty easy, not much to it. And uh, if you want to try the software out, or if you want to see any of our other software, just visit our website at www.smicker.com. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.